Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be learning how to make chill, wavy, chill hop, lo-fi, lo 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 beats. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> I always say lo-fi. You should, you should just leave that in there. Just lo-fi, do lo-fi. Or like lo-fo is what you said. Lo-fo lo beats. <laughs> lo-fo. This is my buddy Zach. Yes, he's a babe and makes beats. He produces music and was willing to show me how to make a chill lo-fi beat. I had a nice morning prayer time, went on a run, and then we cooked up breakfast and talked about our game plan. I have never produced music like this before, so I'm excited to learn. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Jerome. I believe that living for God is the greatest adventure, and this channel is all about becoming more fully alive. So consider subscribing if you want to join a community of uh, people who are seeking the truth and trying to become who they were created to be. One way we become more fully alive is by trying and learning new things. And that's what we're doing today. It just, it stands for low fidelity. Low fidelity? Lo yeah, because it, you basically it's like, you basically, with lo-fi, you want to make it sound like it's been processed and put through like vinyl and everything. And like, it's almost like it's a battered piece of music. Okay, let's start. Yeah. All right, bro. Okay, so we show go. what to do. All right, so this is Ableton. This is the software that I use to create music. Okay. Um, and I have a synthesizer here called Serum Open. It's a very popular synthesizer. A lot of people use to create really unique sounds. Okay. Um, I have a lot of presets, so we're just going to be clicking through them and trying to find like a really nice sound to build our chords around. Oh, sweet. Yeah. There's a sound that we can kind of uh, build like a chord out of. Because some sounds like they only let you play one note rather than three at a time. I like that. Happy with that? Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the metronome, try to play in time with the metronome as best you can, but I'll just, I'll fix it after. Okay. All good. Oh, okay, restart, restart. I'll quantize it to make sure everything's perfectly in timing, but. Okay. I think we're gonna make the beat Quantization, at. Quantization, that's what we. <laughs> at 85. <laughs> quantize is when it's like, if you don't play the notes perfectly, the computer will like lock them to the nearest quarter note. Oh, okay, okay, try. I got this. I got this is this. good. This is good. This is good stuff. Yeah. And I'm already five in here. Yeah, you feel vibes. Now, this is already so fun. I'm, not, like, I'm loving this. I'm going to be able to, like, I love these because I, I like sit in my office and listen to these all the time. Just sometimes I leave it play just all evening, sipping a glass of wine, <laughs> reading my book. Actually, I do. That's great. Now I'll be able to play my own. This is already sounding pretty good. It's coming together. Not too bad. It's their velocity pads, so the harder you hit them, the louder it'll be. Okay, so now we're getting a little bit of hi hat in here into that's this snare. beat. Snare? That's snare. Yeah. Oh, that's a snare. <laughs> what a snare? Oh, a snare. Yeah. Uh, you can just hit play and start grooving out. Figure out where like you kind of get a bounce with your kick and snare. Like if you just hit play, you can. Actually, I like this. Yeah, it's really, it's really like it's got a little bit of like a nostalgic oomph to it. Yeah, I love. Oh, nostalgia! I love that word. Yeah, here we go. That's what lo-fi is all about, bro, is getting those vibes back. That's why I love it. Bring back the 70s. Oh, what did I do again? Yeah, that's fire, actually. Yeah, that's perfect. Dead. I think that's Man. exactly what you want. Nice. I love this. It's going good. Zach's just out in the back there getting the drums going. Uh, I'm going to take a quick pee break. I'm liking it so far. It's not bad. Okay. It's not real. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Honesty! <laughs> I know, so whatever you're feeling. Okay, Add sweet. it in there and hit record and quantize and you already know. Oh, music. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, it sounds like Mozart. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, I'm more of a Sebastian Bach, you know, I sense. He does. Johann Sebastian Bach. Dude, lo-fi. No, he doesn't. Lo He's a piano. For a while. <laughs> I bet you people do remakes of his things. Mozart and Johan. Maybe even that dong at the beginning of the song. Yeah. Let's go. In the background, gives a little like, it, it really clues it. So isn't that a vibe already? It's just like Man, it's sweet, dude. This is already nice. You're doing good. It sounds really good. Yeah. Uh, what we need now to finish off this track is a top melody. And then 808s or some kind of bass line in the bottom. And uh, 808s? What's the top? What do you mean a top? Oh, like just top line like is, a, is a nice melody. To, like your, of your ear candy. Yeah. It's what oh, you're yes. Can I do it with my guitar? Yeah, actually, that's a great idea. I haven't cracked over my 
cracked, cracked open. <laughs> I haven't cracked open. <laughs> I haven't cracked open my guitar in a while. Oh crap! Oh, that's okay. It was just a monkey. It's <laughs> just a monkey. You, you painted a frog, right? Yeah, the frog. You actually want to see my frog painting? Yeah. Show me the frog painting. <laughs> Here is my. Uh... No, I don't know how this turned out. It just kind of worked out. Actually, I, it is a copy I painted. I saw it. I think that should be the cover art for your lo-fi beat. Yeah. Sound Actually, good? Yeah. Look, well, well, I mean, well, this guy is definitely we're gonna to We're going to upload it on SoundCloud, and that'll be your cover art. I'd be like, Sound chill. Good? Look at it. He's like, yeah, chill. He's, he's chilling. You know, he's probably listening to 24-hour chill hop right now. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add in some guitar here. Pulled this out. I'm excited about this. We're going to get some this would be the melody. Yeah, your top some one. Some of that like, yeah. ear candy here soon. <laughs> Oh, because, oh, and all the lofi beats that I listen to. <laughs> all the lofi be beats I listen to, the ones with the guitar when it like comes in and just like do, do, do. Hit him with the smooth, the smooth solo. Oh, Hit him with the red like, bone solo. Mm. This is this is the fun part when you get with all like all the the little filters and stuff and like intros like I think this Oh yeah oh. it just kind of flows through all the sounds and then, so I'm gonna just do this and then bring the guitar back in here. It seems more complicated, but once you just take one thing at a time, yep. just take one thing and then you add the next thing and then you add the next thing, and you're like, oh let's add this and then yep. And you can make it as complicated as you want. It like just flows in. So adding more guitar and like more melody. Okay, we're gonna have the frog as the cover, so we're gonna call it Chili, Chili Pad. Chili Pad. Chili Pad. <laughs> there you go. All right. So after about an hour of mixing and structuring, we have a final beat, and I'm just exporting it now. That's it. And that's it, guys. We're gonna put that beat at the end of the video. Uh, I'm very proud of Jerome and what he came up with, and this has been a really cool experience. Okay. Well, that's it, guys. Here's the beat. get into the beat making scene. It's a pretty chill culture and I totally vibe with it. <laughs> I learned a lot from Zach and I'm excited to do more producing with him, maybe testing out different genres. to expand your horizons and try new things. Thanks, Zach. That was so, so good. Yeah, dude, You're a good teacher. Fun. Don't forget to go check out Zach's channel and uh, watch the video he did on this. It's more on perspective of teaching. Uh, and he does a lot of cool beat videos and he's just getting started on YouTube. So go check his channel out. He uh, is going to be making more content on creating beats and producing music. So uh, yeah, go subscribe to him. Huge thanks to Zach, he's an amazing teacher for helping me out with learning how to make a lo-fi beat. If you'd like to go listen to the beat, I will leave the SoundCloud link down below and I will also link to some of the products that we use to make the beat and uh, to film this video if you guys would like to check those out. If you buy from them, I get a small commission and it's a way to support the channel. Guys, leave a comment down below to let me know what you think of the beat and this video. Uh, I'd love to chat with you. Remember, living for God is the greatest adventure and to bring him into everything you do, even making lo-fi beats. Continue to seek the truth and I will see you in the next video. Peace.